welcome to the flex mckenzie channel it's your boy of course but today this is what my and i am playing games i create my own lane making pleasure out of pain uh turning losses into gains i'm the boss I'm making... um little studio look like you know it's a mess right now because i'm well it, it's always a, a mess i'm trying to rearrange things you know it's really small right <sighs> Can you see? This is my TV, computer stuff, you know, laptop over there, my chair. But this is where I keep um all my vinyl. But I'm going to rearrange things. You know, that's all the vinyls and stuff, all my pet stuff, um, T-shirt, uh, DTF product stuff, printer, you know, um, more stuff back there. So this is what, so it's so small. I got to make it. Um, where I could actually do my work properly because for now it's not working this, you know, so I'm going to take this table that this printer is on. I'm going to try to locate it over there in that corner, you know, for the last few days it's been raining so hard. I mean, like for three, four days, we end up with a leak. <laughs> it start leaking. So I have to put plastic over the, this is a, you know, this is an emergency back door. You know, it's not really used. So I have to plastic it. And uh, that's the result of that rain. It was like for three days, no, four days, actually. I mean, heavy rain, continuously, just raining, raining. I wouldn't stop. So anyway, let's get back to me. And over here, I have more stuff. You know, I have another printer. This is going to be my, this is brand new. It's going to be my um, sublimation print. I'm going to um, convert it into sublimation. And, you know, so I'm going to take this table where you see all these things on. I'm going to relocate it over here in that corner. You know, I'm hoping it will fit where I use it for like just a folding table. And over here is going to be another table. I don't even know what it's called. I got the idea from Big Brando because he bought it many years ago. So I'm going to put it over there where I could actually stock um, T-shirts going to be on the bottom. My, my heat press will not be back here. My heat press is in another room. So it will be like T-shirts and, you know the printer my sublimation printer could be over there and stuff like that but i'm gonna in these box and on these box i have vinyls and these are from econo transfer vinyl a lot of them in this box right here i have t-shirts you know i will <laughs> my ink look what the ink look what my printer did mess up my carpet all that ink spill and there's more over here, it did, you know, but that was my fault. So these are all t-shirts. So I'm gonna turn this off. It's gonna take me a little while. It's probably gonna take me at least a week to get things right the way I want it to be. So in the process, you guys could watch me. No, actually, I'm not gonna let you guys see. Um, Maybe some days you guys will see me um, rearranging things, but I'm just showing you guys what it looked like. Because um, I already started. These boxes are not originally here. I just started to do it. All right? So, so I'm going to get to it, and I'll show you guys little clips of what it's going to be. I'm not going to touch anything over here. It's just here. This I'm going to work on, make it better, put the table over there table here organize here so it could be better because look at this see you guys better have that you know what this is this is a temperature gun right guys we're gonna make sure you check the temperature of everything i have sublimation products there i have dtf products there which i'm gonna be moving from that printer to a real dtf printer and i got cosmo ink dtf Inks. So anyway, guys, I'm going to catch you back in a little bit. I'm going to show you little by little pros progress that I'm making. All right. I'll catch you guys in a, a, 
a second. All right. So now I'm doing a good job. You know, I'm trying to move things around, but it's hard. But you guys see that ink on the floor? Yes, that's from my DTF printer. Look at all the spillage. Look at that. All over the carpet is the spillage. But anyway, there it goes. It's on the table right there. But I'm planning to upgrade it. I'm not planning to use the 8550 anymore. I'm planning to upgrade it. But let's move on. But look at all the mess. I got to move everything out of there to replace it with another table actually that table is going against the wall over there so that i could bring in another table so as you could see i have all my not all but some vinyl dtf products on the table and also i have orders coming in you know i have to also fill but yeah that's the big mess over there that I'm dealing with. So this is the table that I'm gonna move into the studio. It was I had my um, screen printing um, inks and all these other stuff, shirt, the everything that has to do with screen printing was on it. So I remove it. Look, these are all my inks for my screen printing. So I'm gonna take that table, hustle it to the back. Wow, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a work you see along that table I forgot the inches but it's pretty long so yeah that's me struggling with it through the kitchen trying to bring it to the back and there it goes I got it there yeah so that's exactly where I'm gonna keep it right there the top of it you know it's because it been there so long but it's not really it's stained but it's not it's from the ink and all that but you know it's not or anything underneath it now over there would be i guess i fold stuff on that table or i don't know what, exactly again what i'm gonna keep on that table but this table is a game changer for me and i have all my shirts in that black bin right there and that's the ink on the floor from my dtf printer <laughs> and actually it made a mess all the way back it's just because i didn't know it was dripping because um i have all these connection to it but anyway that's gonna get clean too that's gonna be different all those things some of those things gonna be gone and it's such a mess i i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna do it anyway you know see i'm making progress right here you know organizing the shirts i have many many shirts i have a lot of shirts you know so i'm organizing it vinyl those are from econo transfer vinyl down there so anyway if you guys want to get a discount on your econo transfer vinyl use flex mckenzie on econo transfer website and you get a discount of 10 percent on your entire order so I'm going to get back to work. That's my hoodie and stuff like that. And let's go. So here's the progress that I'm making. See, all the bins are underneath now. You know, it still look messy, but I, I'm making good progress up there those uh i'm just pointing out to show you guys that you know i'm making good progress all the bins uh, i have the hoodies underneath there i still got those are like print those are like shirt that i was doing for screen printing where i use that example and those are pants that i sell on um, poshmark you know i have a lot of stuff my vacuum uh, you know i have a lot of stuff i need to to organize so this i forgot how many days this took me but this took a while for me to get done because you know i have to go to work i have to stop print shirts 
and stuff like that. But yeah, th this is the mess. What it looks like. It, it wasn't easy. And yeah, there go my ink. Look, it goes all the way back. I'm trying to show you guys. It dripped all the way back on the floor. But... still got so much to do I had to stop fill some orders and now uh, at least I clear off some of the stuff off the table you know there was stuff on the table I had to I got those off now I'm gonna remove um, get those boxes down because there are some I'm wearing a mask so that sounds pretty funny there are um, Econo transfer vinyl and B flex up there. I'm gonna bring them down and Possible they're gonna go over there with the rest of the vinyls <laughs> I need one of those YouTuber girls to come here and clean all this for me because I've seen a lot of them cleaning their office and making their YouTube studio better. That's what I need. I need one of those girls here. <music> these vinyls and half of them I don't have listed on my site to order these are all Caesar easy weed vinyl so I have to go through them put them in order and get them listed on my website where people could order different color shirts look at that wow sister easy weed vinyl I don't think these are vinyls. I don't know what those are. But anyway. I just received an order from T Mew. So let's open it. Okay, so let's open it and see what everything looks like. Oh look. Okay, so the first thing I order, I order some shorts, right? Some female shorts. 
I wanted to see the quality. It's very thin, but it's for the summer. Not bad. I want to print on these. Stretchy. L looks like good quality. Okay. So far, just get an A from me. And this is not short. Let's open it. Put this to the side. <laughs> this is like a do rag. This is like a bandana, a do rag, whatever. Checking it to make sure. Wow. It actually looks cool. This actually looks good. I like it. This get an A for me. And now these, these are car stickers. Wow, they actually look like what they have on their print. I mean, on their website. Very nice. Wow. And these are, so this, get an A. And these are, oh, same thing. And these are little, um, some kind of, I don't know what they are. There's some kind of print where you press on, I don't know if it's DTF, but I'm going to try them and see what happened. Okay. Not bad. We all know what these are. These are for your shirt, right? To measure when you put in your vinyl, you put in your any kind of transfer. So that's what this is. Eh, this is the quality is good too. It's not cheap. A. These are shorts again. These are basically the same shorts I showed you before. Same little prints. And the, <laughs> this is this is just something for the cars. I mean, for the car, as you can see, you know, like for the door to open the door, you put it there, and it's gonna it should like I guess basically glow at night, so you could see, you know, where you're gonna press to open the door or close the door. And what are these? Well, we're not going to open these yet. Let's open it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Okay, okay, I know what this is. This is a transfer. This is like, um, this is for a wall decal. This is wall de decal where you peel it off and you paste it on your wall. Okay, doesn't look too bad. I didn't try. I'm not going to try it yet. Put this to the side. And these are just stickers. These are um, warning stuff. Where it said, handle with cares. Handle with care. Okay. Do not bend. I use these when I send out my, my stickers, my decal. I put it on the package. So, not bad. Okay. I give this an A. And these are just for shirt, sure, T-shirts. And I got me <laughs> a little cross. I wanted to see what it looks like from their website. I mean, it's not real silver, but but it's really nice. I like it. It's not 100% silver, but I still like it. Not bad. Are one of you guys scared of it? Huh? Are you scared of it? Yeah, I know. I see you backing up. Huh? <laughs> So anyway, overall, I give it the website. I give it an A plus. Why? The shipping was fast, as promised. The products looks good. I have no complaint about their products. Okay, everything looks good to me. All right, looks like from the website. So I give it an A plus. And I think you guys should head over there and try it. Actually, I'll have a, by the time I put this up, I'll have a link on the website. Okay, so 
this is as far as I get. I have here, these are all Caesar Easy Weed vinyls. I have some cards that I used to, a thank you card. But I still have a lot to go. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even make a dent. These are all Caesar Easy Weed. They're all going to be stocked in here. They're Caesar Easy Weed. But these are like glitters down there. So your boys still have a lot. These down here in this box. That's um, Econo Transfer. Econo Transfer. But all this is going to be cleaned out. Eh. My sublimation printer is going to be moved because I'm going to be using it. Econo transfer. And this is from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Heat Transfer Warehouse. I don't know about you guys, man, but organizing is exhausting. <laughs> but anyway, look, I'm making great progress. You know, I mostly put away everything. I have some shirts here that I used to I used to practice screen printing on. You know, it's like a whole, almost a bag of shirts. So I have those. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to do with it. These are like glitter set. These are like for um, tumblers I'm going to be making. These are like... I have like over 50 colors, I believe, in there. 54 colors. Um, I have um, glitter inside there. So those are like projects I'm working on. I'm going to work on, you know, you guys will see them in upcoming video. Look, I have, um, what are those? What are those? Those are little, uh, I think those are wine tumblers, I believe. I have, in, I have those. That's the stuff tumbler dryer spin i don't even know what it called <laughs> but i have all those to make the tumbler but look it's pretty good i'm doing i'm doing an exhausted job those are all um you know what do you call those um i don't even know the name of them but anyway that's my printer right there that's for the sublimation see ooh, your boy is doing a good job it takes a while though to do it look at that that table is cleaned off those are projects that i'm planning to um do in the future right there but i keep it covered because i don't want you guys to see the project what i'm gonna do so i covered it so you, you know nobody could see it in the video but stay tuned for that um video but you know it's, it's a great progress that i'm doing so you see the ink ink on the floor that spill and I have, those are vinyls up there. Those are like from B-Flex, uh, Econo, um, Decal. Those right there, what you're looking at right now, those are all Puff. And they're from Econo Transfer. Econo Transfer. All those are from, uh, underneath there's my Cameo. My beautiful Cameo. I have my printer there. But this is the side that mostly I'm focusing on. That's the DTF printer. I'm going to get rid of the 8550. I don't think I want to use it again. It's too much headache. So I'm going to try to get a real DTF printer. And step away from um, the 8550. You know the convert one. But everything is looking good baby. You know. And I hope I never have to do this again. That's the ink from the DTF printer. <laughs> Spill all over the carpet. Look. All right, so your boy finish. Basically, these here are stuff I got to do for a sublimation project. Uh, you know, to practice sublimation, I should say. So those are sublimation stuff. Look out for that video coming soon for the first time of me unboxing my mug press, doing sublimation. So yes, these are like hoodies down here. It's more hoodies here. These are um, Caesar Easy Weed vinyl. Fold that box down there. Our sweatpants, T-shirts, and stuff over here. That's that sublimation printer that I was used, but 
I'm not going to use it anymore. I'm going to try to get a real sublimation printer, B-Flex vinyl, Econo vinyl, and stuff. Here, these are just like stuff where, like, um, for, whoops, let's get that. These are what I used to put in the packages, you know, like a thank you. That thank you card. So, yeah. So, I got to get, I can't stay too long trying to, you know, fixing this place up. I got to get back to orders and stuff like that. But this is basically what the studio underneath here. This is projects I'm going to do so I keep it covered. Projects I'm going to do for YouTube. Get that covered. So, anyway, this is it. Got to get back to work. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Share the video. And as always, I'll catch you on my next video. This is your boy Flex, and I'm out. I don't want to go to work because my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life because I don't.